It's been a frustrating 2011 campaign, to say the least, for the Regina Rams. Led by 2010 Player of the Year Mark Mueller, they were ranked sixth nationally entering the season, projected to win the conference and be in the mix for the Vanier Cup. Hasn't quite worked out that way. Mueller separated his shoulder on the very first play of the year. He's gone. Then in the first half of week two, backup Dylan Hart injured his back in Saskatoon, making way for third stringer Frankie Gray. But the true freshmen struggled early, and the Rams suddenly found themselves in an 0-3 hole. With that disappointing winless start to the season, the Rams were put in a really tough spot without their top three quarterbacks to work with. Backed into a corner, they turned to a former receiver who's now the top guy in Regina. He's helped get him back into the playoff pitcher. Olenek throwing into the end zone. Owens works back, grabs it, pulls it down. Touchdown, Regina Rams. It's Zach Olenek who's now leading the charge in Regina. The second year Ram has suddenly started three games under center after thinking he was going to be playing wide out. I just had knee surgery done, so I was out for the first few games and I was going to come back and play receiver, but uh, you know, a few, few injuries happened and since I played quarterback in high school, they kind of just uh, threw me in the role and I was happy to accept it. I, I love the quarterback position, you know, I like being the guy that makes plays, so I was happy with, uh, with that and then when I came to university, they kind of thought I was more of a receiver role, so stepped into that and did fine with that, but uh, you know, things changed so fast. Olenek was the top pivot in grade 11 and 12 at Balfour Collegiate in Regina, but the Rams wanted to use his six foot four frame at receiver. Yet with a string of freak injuries, Olenek is getting a shot to prove he can play quarterback in the CIS, even though it's still a work in progress. Yeah, I'm starting to get more comfortable with it, and every week's just more work because uh, more things pick up. And, you know, the team we got here is unbelievable. We have such a good team, so I just want to get in there and make plays and win games for the team. The 19-year-old won his first two starts against Alberta and Manitoba before that last-second loss at UBC. The promise he's shown is giving his receivers like Brendan Owens a lot of confidence on offense. He can read a defense quite well. Bernie's offense is complicated, so it's not easy. So having a guy in there that's experienced, like Ole, he played receiver the year before, so he knows all the routes, he knows where people have to be, and he can make the throws, and we got the, the, play, the playmakers that can go get the passes. Olenek's been helped along by Adrian Charles, who can pound it on the ground. The first team All-Canadian has racked up 418 yards in his three starts and leads the Canada West with 763 yards on the year. Overall, the transition to Olenek as Regina's fourth option has gone as well as it could have for the Rams after the shock of Mueller's injury. Well, I think it's always difficult because you get set back on your heels a little bit, and that's what happened uh, you know, for the, the first couple games anyway. Um, and then you kind of have to regroup and understand that, yeah, you've, you've lost a position, but you still have at any given time, you know, you've got 11 other guys on the offense and you've got 12 guys on the defense and you have to play. So, uh, you know, it's an, it's an adjust uh, adjustment, but we're, we're working hard at it. And, and you know, we, we're still not out of it. Working with four different QBs has been an adjustment for Owens, who's been with Mueller for his entire Rams career. Losing a guy like Mark that you've played with for it's our fifth year together now and having him go down it was a big blow. The wind kind of went off our sails and it took a while to adjust and losing a couple more quarterbacks after that just added insult to injury. But we have a quarterback in place now that can, he can throw the ball and we got the players that can go downfield and get it. We got a really good offense and we got a chance to, to turn things around. Olenek and the Rams have to win back-to-back -back games against teams they need to catch for the playoffs. First up is a home date against the Saskatchewan Huskies who beat Regina 33-10 in week two. Then off to Manitoba for the final weekend with a chance to turn some heads with a former receiver leading the charge. I'm still scared of this Rams team because I think they still have all the parts in place to make a run.